Hi, my name is Danny. Coyote CX2510 with the KS54 factory blower. Brand new machine, just got it. Factory cab, I love it. Just added front chains, V-bar. Ah, there's some questions whether you should run front chains. I decided I would. Um... R14 tires. The give you an idea of this snowblower, the frame is just massively over engineered. Everything is, which is good. <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's an I, I'm on ice, so hope I'm not too shaky here. It's a novel concept for a blower as it has a one piece auger without the center gearbox which I think is far better. And then a chain drive. And behind the blower is your, your shear pin and your chain, and here's your chain adjustment. So a uh, quick connect, very easy to put on. So what I just recently added is this uh, push technology electric chute. The rotation is hydraulic, comes off your loader mounts. And here's the push technology's linear actuator, six inch throw. Um, what I did, I got some bronze bushings. If anybody needs to know exactly what they are, I will take this apart and show them. And I lost my nylocks in the deep snow here in the Adirondacks. So there's a barrel bolt, all stainless, M9 cap screw holding it. And then all I had down here was one hole to drill and absolutely no template. I fastened the top, extended the cylinder, set my chute, drilled right through this little bracket I fabricated, which is nothing to make. Um, so a very clean setup, minimal drilling, minimal alteration. And the reason I went with this, rather than just buying a $40 linear actuator, is this is all weatherproof. And I think that's Absolutely huge. Very nice quality 18 gauge weatherproof cable. I ran it right down my hydraulics. There's even a little slot here to feed your cable and your front hydraulic attachment. Under the hood, this is where I came up and uh this is a uh, weatherproof connector right here. And then to get through the firewall, the cabs on these are very, very tight. I took this little uh, cable, I believe it's emergency brake cable, and pulled the grommet out and squeezed my cable through that tiny hole, ran it under the floor mats, removed my joystick cover which is three bolts one here one here and another hidden one 12 millimeter when you lift it up ran my cable up through here and into my console which I've left disassembled to show you the wiring now remember these knockouts don't come out from the top you literally have to get underneath them and squeeze them the handles come off hard for your PTO. I warmed them up a little. Of course, took the screws out. And once they were warm, I could wiggle them and put a crescent wrench under them and tapped it with a soft mallet. So here's the actual wiring. I grounded here, obviously. And I tapped into my... Hope this will show. I tapped into my rear wiper. There's a reason for that. It's a moment switch. You don't, it doesn't stay on. 
So the chances of ever hitting that 10 amp rear wiper the same time you're trying to move your chute are very unlikely. Now, I don't think the photo is showing it, but it's the green and red wire on your rear wiper. There's my uh, connections for my switch, which are pretty obvious. Uh, power in, ground, power out, ground out to DC. Everything's all connected up here pretty nice. Um, I'll put that back together after the video. And we'll give it a try here. So power on. Let's get where we can see the chute. Down. Up. No templates, no adjusting. Nothing showing your cab is completely clear. And that's it. I'll, I'll uh, maybe post a few links. Here's the new front chains. V-bar. Nice setup. I added the uh, snowblower markers. Helps me keep my passes square with each other. Uh couple other modifications. I may do another video. This is an awesome tractor. If you own one, congratulations. And any questions, just, just post on here. I'll be glad to uh, get some better photos and explain the wiring and so on. To run a front-mounted linear actuator shoot controller on a Coyote. CX2510. I'm sure it's similar on the CK models in the bigger blowers. Thank you for watching. Bye.